Ecclesiastes chapter 32. If thou be made the master of a feast, lift not thyself up, but be among them as one of the rest. Take diligent care for them, and so sit down. And when thou hast done all thy office, take thy place, that thou mayest be merry with them, and receive a crown for thy well ordering of the feast. Speak, thou that art the elder, for it becometh thee, but with sound judgment, and hinder not music. Pour not out words where there is a musician, and show not forth wisdom out of time. The concert of music in a banquet of wine is a signet of the carbuncle set in gold. As a signet of an emerald set in a work of gold, so is the melody of music with pleasant wine. Speak, young man, if there be need of thee, and yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. Let thy speech be short, comprehending much in few words. Be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. If thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. And when ancient men are in place, use not many words. Before the thunder goeth lightning, and before a shamefaced man shall go favor. Rise up betimes, and be not the last, but get thee home without delay. There take thy pastime, and do what thou wilt, but sin not by proud speech. And for these things bless him that made thee, and that replenished thee with his good things. Whoso feareth the Lord will receive his discipline, and they that seek him early shall find favor. He that seeketh the law shall be filled therewith, but the hypocrite will be offended thereat. They that fear the Lord shall find judgment, and shall kindle justice as a light. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. A man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear even when of himself he hath done without counsel. Do nothing without advice, and when thou hast once done, repent not. Go not in a way wherein thou mayest fall, and stumble not among the stones. Be not confident in a plain way, and beware of thine own children. In every good work trust thy own soul, for this is the keeping of the commandments. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment, and he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse.